haven't seen you, specifically you, in a couple weeks. It's been a while. Um, yeah. So in the event that I'm not making videos, I haven't been, I've decided to do this thing to encourage myself to make more videos with this little mini-series that I'm going to start making that I would like to title Skylar's Embarrassing Stories. By the title, you can probably guess what this mini-video series thing is going to be about. I could not even try to start counting the number of embarrassing moments that I have had, and I will probably have many more in my lifetime. And so I thought, hey, why not share that with the internet, where it's going to stay forever? I'm going to warn you right now that um, if you're, like, squeamish to gross things or bodily functions, then you just might want to leave. And, um, good luck watching this. Third grade. I, <laughs> as a new younger guys back then, well, he wasn't younger than me, actually. He was, we were literally bored on the same day, and I just skipped a year of preschool, so he happened to be in the second grade, and I was in the third grade. But I had a huge crush on this dude, and we went to after-school care together at my school, because our parents were either working late, or we didn't have a ride home. But we were always there. And, um, I'm gonna call him Jay. Jay was your average, everyday, second grade dude. Um, so, anyway, we have a snack every day at our after school care. And this wasn't just, here's a bag of goldfish, go wild. They would cook hot dogs, and every time someone had a birthday, we'd have ice cream. And it was amazing. And this day, we happened to be having... SpaghettiOs. So I sit down at the very end of the table next to him. So I'm to his this side and <laughs> he's over here. Okay. And he's sitting by not only me over here, but all his guy friends at the end of the table. And they're all like, hey man, check out these sweet tricks I can do on my mini skateboard. I can make you so many flips. Like, check that out. I'm so cool. So Jay's laughing, you know, like having a great time with his friends, and then there I'm next to him, just being as awkward as possible trying to blend in. I'm not good at blending in, especially in situations like that. In that situation, there are a bunch of second grade boys talking about Pokemon, which I knew nothing about at the time, and they're talking about mini skateboard tricks, and I didn't even own a mini skateboard. And I, I just felt so left out, because I'm this third grade girl that's like, oh god. And, um... To make matters worse, I had to sneeze. They were probably like, what's the big deal about his sneeze? Like, <laughs> sneezes, everyone sneezes. No! No! That would make the situation much more awkward. Because then all these people that I don't fit in with are going to be looking at me and they're going to be like, that freak, she made a noise with her nose. But I was panicking and I was like, you know what, I'm not going to sneeze. That's just going to be awkward. I'm going to hold in the sneeze. That wasn't a good idea. By holding the sneeze in, my body just, pfft, not like that, but, you know, I had to sneeze even more. And so, finally, I gave in. I was like, you know what, they're probably not even going to notice. They're too busy talking about Bakugan. And <laughs> so I sneeze. And fr remember from before, he's on this side. I'm on this side. So I sneeze away from him. I'm like, chew. You know, when you try to sneeze one way, you sneeze the other way. So it ended up being like, a chew. And I'm probably way under exaggerating the sneeze that happened because when I sneeze, it is, it's not, it's not, um, it's not petite or cute. It's not like, oh, you sneeze. That's so cute. No, it sounds like a hippopotamus sneeze. It's like, you know, it's horrible. So, I'm waiting for the impending doom of the awkwardness I'm about to feel, but no one notices. No one noticed. And I was like, oh, hallelujah, you know? Just, oh, I was so, so happy that nobody noticed, and there was no awkwardness, and I was just, I was distracted by that victory. So, I, I didn't notice it at first. And then, Jay, like, picks up his spoon of SpaghettiOs, and it's green. Huh. Huh. You can't imagine what's going through my mind right now. Like, SpaghettiOs aren't supposed to be green. My SpaghettiOs aren't green. I was, like, comparing the two bowls of SpaghettiOs. 
and um, that's when the gear shifted in my mind. It all went together. That was my snot in his spaghetti bowl. Not only was it in his spaghetti bowl, it was it was on his spoon that was headed towards his open mouth. You can probably imagine the panic that ensued inside of me. I... There are, like, levels of friendship, and then it gets to maybe crush it really... But anyway, we were barely at, Hey, I'm comfortable having a full conversation with you. We are definitely not at the level where, Hey, I'm comfortable enough with you that I can eat your snot. That's not... That's not even a level. And it was happening next to me. What would any logical person do in this situation? Well, they would probably, you know, tell him, Oh, looks like you've got something in your food there. You might not want to eat that. It's probably mold or something. And, um, I'm not a logical person, nor was I in the third grade. So, um, here's what, here's what I did. kind of gave up on um, the whole crush thing from then on with him because um, next time we had SpaghettiOs he, he got a yardstick got a yardstick and he put it between us and if I got closer he uh, he like backs away and he thrusts the yardstick forward so, no, um, yeah, and that that's why, um, although delicious, SpaghettiOs are now pretty much a fear and just bad memory for me, so, um, that, that's my story for you. I hope you enjoyed this video, or better yet, got through it without vomiting on the floor or into a bucket, um, yeah, <laughs> and Jay? If you're out there, and you probably know who you are, because I don't think people get their food sneezed in by a freak girl that often. Um, I apologize. Um, okay, bye.